Plant Village is exploring the impact of biota fertilizer on cassava yields and diseases. But this effort goes beyond mere exploration to cassava experimental fields. It's a guiding light for farmers across seven counties in Kenya, aiding smallholder farmers in adapting to climate change. Currently, we are in one of our cassava SOS uh, fields. This project was started on April last year, that is 2023. This project was carried out in 35 fields across six counties in Kenya. Kilifi County, uh, Siaya County, Busia, Homabe, Migori, and uh, Baringo County. Through research and collaboration with local farmers, we aim to uncover sustainable solutions to foster agricultural resilience in the face of climate change, particularly by emphasizing the cultivation of drought resistant crops such as cassava. As Plant Village, City is one of our many ways of empowering smallholder farmers, especially farmers involving themselves in, uh, in doing climate smart agriculture, such as planting of cassava in arid and semi-arid areas like Baringo. The objective of this study is to determine the effect of organically charged biochar in cassava growth and yield. Cassava stands as a staple food for millions, representing the adaptability and strength of agricultural communities on a global scale. Cassava production is at 314 million tons globally and uh, it spans across 97 million hectares of land with Africa pro uh, contributing with the greatest uh, of 57 percent and the Kenya itself uh, producing 0.2 percent. Kenya production stands at 711,890 tons and our consumption is at uh, 3 million uh, tons of cassava. So our consumption is 200% 200, 200 more than our production. And the cassava production actually uh, is affected by some of the environmental stresses, like uh, drought stress and low soil fertility. To mitigate the problem of low soil fertility and drought stress, we need a promising soil amendment like biochar. Biochar has a, a number of uh, benefits to the environment. For example, it can improve water retention capacity of the soil, the soil mi microbial population, the soil um, cation exchange capacity, um, the soil pH can be increased and also the soil electroconductivity. Also, it uh, plays a, another major role in carbon sequestration to the soil, uh, contributing to the reduction of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. For farmer Donald Otieno in Migori County, the use of biochar fertilizer has greatly transformed his cassava farming. One, two, three, almost four faces of cassava branches, which is not normal with the ordinary planting. I'm happy, at least I can see a, a, quite a big uh, difference, especially in the seedling production. If we are to uh, encourage farmers to plant more acres, this type of method will help in producing the enough sheets for the farmers to improve on the production of uh, cassava. And uh, the tubers are big. Mm. You have very good tubers. Let's take a quick glimpse into the experiment process. Uh, during the experiment, uh, we collected uh, sprouting data at 15 months after planting, at 30 days after planting, and at 45 uh, days after planting. Thereafter, we did collect canopy measurements data, which involves plant height, uh, the height of the first branching event, the number of branching levels, the number of branches, the number of nodes, the height of the canopy. Every month uh, from three months after planting to 11 months after planting. So uh, we also did soil sampling at three months after planting, at six months after planting, and uh, at harvesting, which is at 12 months after planting. The experiment also involves cassava root starch extraction process for subsequent lab analysis. For such extraction, we're going to use the wet method, which involves um, the following procedure. Firstly, we will weigh the fresh tubers, followed by peeling them 
and then weighing the pills separately and the pill storage routes separately. The pill storage routes are, will be chopped into tiny slices. The sliced storage routes will be put into, inside a blender and then we add twice as much uh, distilled water and then it will be blended to form a fine mixture. The mixture will be filtered using a double cheesecloth and then the filtrate will be left to sediment for approximately one hour and then thereafter we'll do decanting carefully so that to separate the water from the sediment and then the sediment will be washed using uh, distilled water and it will be left to sediment for approximately one hour and then we'll do decanting again to obtain a uh, starch. The obtained starch will be aired in the greenhouse for two to three days and then uh, the starch now will be used to do further analysis.